hearing loss. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us for BTW 21 News. I'm your host, Luis Romero. We hope that you have enjoyed your week so far. A lot of updates that we have to get to today. We're going to start off with news in Eden, North Carolina. We now have learned that the suspect of a deadly shooting at a business parking lot has been arrested. Police in Eden say the suspect of the deadly shooting at the Rabbit Hole Bar and Grill is now in jail. On Thursday, 22-year-old Aaron Noel Johnson Marriott of Eden turned himself in to the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office. On October 1st, 39-year-old Al Jamar Lindsay was found suffering from multiple gunshot wounds in the business's parking lot, according to police. Investigators said that they learned that a group of people started to fight when Marriott approached Lindsay, who was not involved, and shot him in close range. Marriott then fled the scene. He has been charged with one count of murder in the first degree. Marriott is being held under no bond and appeared in Rockingham County District Court on Tuesday. You can contact the Eden Police Department with any information about this murder. If you want to remain anonymous, you can call the Rockingham County Crime Stoppers. In Eden, Luis Romero, BTW 21. And of course, those numbers to contact authorities in North Carolina are on our website, btw21.com. Moving along now to news in Henry County and still talking about updates. Just in, we have received the identity of those individuals that were arrested after a drug bust that occurred in the Bassett community earlier this month. Two people were arrested on Friday, October 6th, following the execution of a narcotic search warrant. The Henry County Sheriff's Office SWAT team conducted the search at a home on Clarence Martin Road off of Route 57 in Bassett. Henry County Sheriff Wayne Davis said investigators seized suspected fentanyl, suspected meth, an illegally possessed firearm, and ammunition during the search. Michael Wayne Upchurch, 35 of the address, was charged with the following possession with intent to distribute fentanyl, possession with intent to distribute meth, possession with intent to distribute weapon of terrorism, fentanyl, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and possession of ammunition by felon. Lindsay Rose Upchurch, 35 of the address, was arrested inside the home during the incident for the outstanding warrants of felony revocation of suspended sentence and bail slash peace release. Both were taken to the Henry County Adult Detention Center where they are being held with no bond. The Virginia State Police assisted at the scene. Anyone that has information about narcotics trafficking operations is asked to contact the Henry County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers program. In Bassett, Luis Romero, BTW 21. Again, we're going to keep the theme of updates. Now we talk about a woman that was able to flee from deputies in Collinsville and was arrested later after some calls came into the 911 center that they saw her with a firearm allegedly. A woman is now behind bars after she led deputies on a vehicle pursuit and avoided capture for less than 24 hours. On October 6th, Henry County deputies were conducting a traffic stop at the intersection of Virginia Avenue and Daniels Creek Road when they noticed a green Chevrolet Camaro. Crystal Annette Williams, 32, of Black Bear Road in Bassett, was driving the Chevrolet and deputies knew that she had outstanding warrants by Martins of Police for failure to appear. Deputies said that they approached the vehicle and issued commands for Williams to remove the keys from the ignition, but she and the other passengers failed to comply with the instructions. This led to a pursuit on Daniels Creek Road where deputies said they lost sight of the vehicle in the 300 block. Soon after, multiple 911 calls were received as citizens reported sightings of the Camaro on Milton Lee Drive in Collinsville. Eyewitnesses indicated that several people fled from the vehicle with one of them allegedly carrying an assault-style rifle. Despite the deployment of both drone and canine units for the search, Williams and her passengers were not captured that day, according to deputies. The next day, after getting tips from citizens, deputies focused their search on Milton Lee Drive, where Williams was reportedly seen walking with a gun. 
Deputies located and arrested her and turned her over to the Martin police for the processing of their outstanding warrants. The Henry County Sheriff's Office has charged Williams with felony eluding. She is being held at the Martinsville City Jail without bond. In Henry County, Luis Romero, BTW 21. So definitely a lot of news and make sure that you follow us on our social media pages to stay updated with the latest breaking news. But we're going to take a quick commercial break. More to come after these messages. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis. I worked at the Henry County Sheriff's Office and served the citizens of Henry County for the past 23 years. During that time, I've built strong relationships with law enforcement leaders across the region. And one of those leaders is Sheriff Dan Smith. The Patrick County Sheriff's Office has always enjoyed a strong relationship with all of our law enforcement partners. The Henry County Sheriff's Office is no exception. They provide much needed support to surrounding agencies like ours to ensure that our citizens are protected. You deserve a knowledgeable sheriff that will maintain that. Wayne Davis is that sheriff. These relationships will strengthen the Henry County Sheriff's Office and allow us to better serve the citizens of Henry County. I humbly ask for your vote on November the 7th. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis, and this ad was paid for and authorized by D. Wayne Davis Jr. for Sheriff. For the best local fun, food, and entertainment, come on down to Tequila Sports Bar and Grill. Bring your friends and family to bowl and listen to live music while enjoying yummy foods such as quesadillas, tacos, ribs, burgers, desserts, and so much more. Visit Tequila's 1051 Spruce Street, Martinsville. Hours Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. 276-336-3727. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Do you like to learn how to rent your first apartment or buy your first home? Do you need help cleaning up your credit? At the Center for Housing Education, we're providing you with valuable resources and training to help you transition to your new housing lifestyle. Visit the Center for Housing Education at 51 East Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Give us a call at 276-302-1656. All services are free. Cultivating New Housing Lifestyles, the Center for Housing Education. All right, everybody, we are seeing so much more sunshine than we have been on the past couple of days. And that's going to last until Friday until we get some of those showers coming in. But likely that's going to clear out by Saturday. But until then, let's look at this evening's forecast. 5 p.m. partly cloudy skies at 62 degrees. 8 p.m. mostly clear, seeing a cloud or two at 53. And at 11 p.m. clear skies at 48 degrees. That sunset is going to be at 640 p.m. All right, let's check out tonight's overnight forecast. Like I said, we're going to have a few passing clouds on tonight. We got a low chance of rain and those northwest winds at only three miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 41, Rocky Mound at 41, Farm at 40, 39 for Oak Level, Woolwan at 40, Martinsville at 39, as well as Ridgeway at 39, Stewart at 40, and 41 for Ararat. 
So definitely bundle up tonight if you're going out because we are getting in those 30s for tonight's overnight forecast. All right, let's go ahead and look at tomorrow's forecast. Another mostly sunny day, low chance of rain in those west southwest winds at 5 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 67, Rocky Mountain at 67, Fairham at 66, as well as Oak Level at 66, Woolwan at 65, Martinsville at 67, Ridgeway at 67, Stewart at 65, and Ararat at 64. We're definitely warming up just a little bit, still in those mid 60s for tomorrow. But since we are warming up just a little bit, that rating for tomorrow is a 9 out of 10, 67 for that high and 42 for the low. It's going to be generally, generally sunny. Like I said, low chance of rain and some light winds at 5 miles per hour. That sunrise is going to be at 7.29 a.m. All right, let's check out the rest of this work week. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to have some sunshine, 67 for that high, moving into tomorrow night. 42, quite chilly like it's going to be on tonight. On Thursday, some more sunshine. We're going to warm up almost in the 70s at 69 degrees. Moving into Thursday night, we're still going to be in the upper. We're going to go up to the upper 40s. We've got a slight chance of rain. As you see on Friday, we're going to start off with some clouds, and then we're going to slowly, gradually gain in that chance of rain on Friday at 67 and I'll keep an eye on that for Friday night football because the Smith River Classic is this weekend and we can't let the rain wash us out. However, it is going to be quite sunny, but be prepared for that, those rains on Friday. My name is Blake Mentor and I'm running for Commissioner of Revenue for Henry County. Our community made me who I am. It taught me the value of hard work, the strength of determination, and that we can achieve anything if we put our minds to it. I have worked for years in a position to give back to Henry County, and if elected, I promise to do my very best to continue working for the benefit of our community. For several years, I have been a constant and hardworking presence in the assessor's office, a role I do not take lightly. I strive to find ways to improve and enhance the way our office works, and I am proud of the successes I've achieved in doing so. I've done that within our budgets and without any additional cost to taxpayers, making our county services better. I work with our county departments regularly because regular communication makes our county function better. We collaborate to benefit our community. That's how a successful county can operate best. I've worked my way into the assessor's office through effort and grit, and I want to continue serving our community however and whenever possible. And come this November 7th, I hope I can humbly ask for your vote paid for and authorized by Blake Mentor for Henry County Commissioner of the Revenue. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, my name is Dr. Caper Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. 
with research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at dragextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Hi there. Looks like you're in some double trouble. Yeah, hit and run. No worries. Just call Nelson. Nelson? Yep. Autos by Nelson's professionally trained operators will tow your vehicle, repair it at our manufacturer certified body shop, and we can even set you up with a rental car. All you do is pay your insurance deductible, and we also offer discounts to military and first responders. It's just one more way we're doubling up at Autos by Nelson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Now let's turn it over to sports. Christian Hall has a story about the Magna Vista Warriors being victorious over Martinsville for our last game of the week. And of course, we talked to the players about their feelings about the victory. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we started off rough. We didn't start off how we normally do, but I mean, as you can tell, the results of the score, we did our thing. I mean, we just started, we locked in and like stopped uh, all the mistakes and stuff, and we just played the team how we normally play. I mean, we got strong in the weight room. I mean, it's hard to move us around. I mean, we do our job. How much does that help you as a quarterback knowing that your defense? I mean, knowing that defense can stop and keep them in the game, I know I, know I can go score the ball, so as long as we stop them, good. What's it going to take to stay 8-0 uh, no next week? Bassett, you know, they got the Smith River Clash. It's um, gonna be wall. Obviously, it's going to be a big game, packed crowd, good atmosphere, but I feel like we just play our game, we beat them. Good, good, good. 7-0, uh, it feels good, but, I mean, when you work hard for it, then, I mean, that's what, I, that's what we expected. Everybody's doing their job, and it's not just one person, it's the whole defense. So, when everybody's doing their job, it's kind of hard to move the ball. And, when you can't score, can't win. Um, I think we were just a little too rowdy at the beginning, so we just start off a little chippy. But I mean, once once the game set in, then I mean, y'all see what happens. So. Uh, it's great win. Come back from injury, just great win with my guys on senior night. Just trusting the guys in front of us, blocking, just running, passing, just moving the ball around trying out different things. What do you got to do to go next week and take a big win? We just got to be dialed in at practice all week, grind and grind and grind. We know it's a big rival week. We're just trying to trying to win. Is it going to be Magna Vista football next week or Bassett football next week? Magna Vista football any week of the day, 15 and 0, state championships, I'm telling you. I'm voting for Dale Mills. 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 If I was over, I would vote for Dale Mills. Mr. Mills is a fine man. He will receive my vote. I'm voting for Dale Mills for sure. He's a man with him. I'm voting for Dale Mills for sheriff. I'm voting for Dale Mills for sheriff for Henry County. Dale Mills for sheriff. Every vote counts. Please get out and vote. I'm Dale Mills, and I would appreciate your vote for Sheriff of Henry County on November the 7th. This ad was paid for and authorized by Dale Mills for Sheriff. Hey guys, this is Amy with Homes by Amy and Company, Keller Williams of Martinsville. We proudly serve Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and surrounding areas. We enjoy helping purchasers find their dream home. We offer staging services to anyone who may need it, and we take pride in selling our listings quickly and getting our clients the most return for their investment. My team and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making us number one real estate firm locally. We are here for all of your real estate needs. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, Riverside Tire. There's three things to get excited about this fall. 
pumpkin spice lattes, Halloween, and a set of Michelin tires from Riverside Tire. Stop by between 1011 and 1027 for a $70 rebate. For the best service, best price in town, Riverside Tire, 39 Dial Plant Road, 276-632-7181. You're watching BTW 21 News. Now in our lineup, it is time to take a look at our crime report for Martins and Henry County presented by Apex Bell Bonds. Justin Carter, a Bassett, charged with probation violation felony. Desiree Fowler of Martinsville, charged with falsely identifying self to law enforcement, contempt of court, failure to appear, and shoplift altering price tags. Harold Holland, charged with violation of protective order. Heather Pruitt of Collinsville, charged with prevent law enforcement officer from making arrests. Michael Solomon of Hilton Head, North Carolina, charged with false statement during investigation of another's crime. Erica Dunlap of Danville, charged with DWI first conviction. Rodrea Finney of Chatham, charged with intoxication in public. Michael Myers of Ridgeway, charged with contempt of court, general without a jury, violation of protective order, and probation violation felony. I'm Michael Benner Jr. and I'm running for Henry County Treasurer. I'm here to bridge the gap between industry and individuals who are not paying their taxes in Henry County. I'm here to support Henry County and make sure that our budget is sufficient to meet the needs of the citizens of Henry County. I'm here to help Henry County with a new vision, a new voice, and a fresh start. I sincerely request your vote and support this November for Henry County Treasurer. This ad was paid for and authorized by Michael Minner Jr. for Henry County Treasurer. You know where to get them big old tars and lift kits? Where's that? Down there at that PVT. Really? They got big tars, they got small tars, they even got medium sized tars, and they got the best prices too. PVT Express 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Southwestern Virginia Gas Company reminds you that buried utilities are all around you. Before beginning your excavation, whether you're a weekend gardener or a contractor who makes your living digging in the earth, you should always call 811 at least 48 hours prior to beginning your project. Affected utilities will be notified to mark their facilities and you can dig with confidence. There's no charge for this service and it's the law. Southwestern Virginia Gas Company, providing safe, reliable and affordable energy since 1942. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-638. 8771. Welcome back. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to turn it over to Bassett Funeral Service as they present to you our daily obituaries for Martinsville and Henry County and now as well as Eden, North Carolina. Take a look. Taylor Dean Johnson, 62, of Glade Hill, Virginia, passed away Sunday, October the 8th, 2023. All services will be private. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the Johnson family. Mrs. Virgie Lee Dillard Williams of Cascade, Virginia, passed away Saturday, October the 14th, 2023. The public viewing will be Tuesday, October the 17th from 2 to 7 p.m. at Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel in Eden, North Carolina. Funeral services will be Wednesday, October the 18th from at 1 o'clock at Shallow Missionary Baptist Church in Cascade, Virginia. Donna Marie Hooker Turner, 76, of Bassett, passed away Sunday, October the 15th, 2023. All services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting WrightFuneralServices.net. Gloria Jean Red Harrison, 65, of Spencer, transitioned from this earthly life Friday, October the 13th, 2023. A visitation will be held on Saturday, October the 21st at 2.30 p.m. until the time of the funeral service at Tatum, Macedonia Primitive Baptist Church in Stewart. A public viewing will be held on Friday, October the 20th from 1 to 5 at Harrison Funeral Home. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniels Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service the establishment is now serving two locations. Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina. Phone 336-694-4881. And Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina. 
phone 336-627-3300. Website www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us, the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff, to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. That's going to wrap it up for my time on this Tuesday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, thank you so much for your company. We'll see you tomorrow.